Good morning. Join me in prayer, if you would. Dear Lord, we give you thanks, for you are good. We come into agreement this morning and celebrate the election of your governor for the state of Florida, Ron DeSantis, and your lieutenant governor, Jeanette Nunez, and their cabinet. We bless them, Lord, and declare favor, wisdom, and understanding in their lives as they lead us. Lord, today we also look to you for those hurting and recovering from the recent storm, Michael, out in northwest Florida. Lord, some lost their lives, a family member, a business, their source of provision, some lost, they, lost all they knew. Many still continue to hurt and still seek answers to questions. And I know you do not cause all things, but you do cause all things to work together for good. We know weeping may endure for a night, but joy does come. Lord, we give you thanks for you have been the strong place for those who cannot help themselves and for those in need because of the storm. And despite loss, hope has risen in Northwest Florida for revival and restoration. And Lord, you are the God of hope. For we are Florida, and one thing we do is stand strong, 850 strong, Florida strong, and we look to you for a better day. For you tell us, having done all, to stand. Now, Lord, I pray, revive us. Send a revival into Northwest Florida, a revival, or an awakening, a resurgence. Lord, thank you for such a prophetic name of this breakfast, working together in faith. For that is what I've seen since the storm will continue to seek is us working together. When the brethren dwell together in unity, there, Lord, you command the blessing. Neighbor helping neighbor, stranger helping stranger, friend helping friend. Knowing them was not a prerequisite. Serving was. Whether they served meals to thousands or like the story of the starfish, they made a difference to the one. We give you thanks for their love to each other. So, Father, we honor everyone who served the countless first responders, the ones known and unknown to help dig ones out from the trenches. For those who stepped forward and said, here I am, send me. In fact, many may have lost hope had they not seen your goodness in the land. One plowed, one watered, but you, Lord, brought the increase. Your word tells us in the story of Nehemiah that when the city and walls were needing to be rebuilt, that's when government, the church, and the marketplace all came together. You did the rebuild in record time. Lord, this morning, remind and empower us to also be like Nehemiah when he said to the king, if it pleases the king and if your servant has found favor in your sight, I ask that you send me to the city of my fathers that I may rebuild it. Lord, you are good and the God of all hope and revival. So yes, Lord, as they rebuild, I pray you also let them revive. And Lord, we bless and give thanks for our military today. For the military is continuously called into harm's way yet also provides peace when they are present. So Lord, I pray that you would protect them as they seek to protect us. Our soldiers remain focused on their mission, so remind us to remain focused to keep them lifted in prayer before you. Also protect their families and be a lamp, a lamp that goes before them. And Lord, we pray our troops don't go to war, but if called upon, give them guidance in battle and reveal to them the strategies like you did King David, as well as the knowledge from behind enemy lines that we may be victorious. Lord, we honor our military. May all be reminded of your word that says in John, greater love is no man than this, that one lay down his life for his friends. And Joshua, have I not commanded you to be strong and of good courage? Do not be afraid or be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Lord, our military principles remain steadfast. Duty, honor, country. A soldier doesn't fight because he hates what's in front of him. He fights because he loves what's behind him. Lord, we celebrate every military member and their role from the highest general to the newly enjoined enlisted, knowing that in your word you say the one who goes down to battle and the one who stays home with supplies share alike. So Lord, guide, bless, and keep them. And Lord, in closing, I pray, may your kingdom come, your will be done. We look forward with great excitement as to what you will start accomplish in this new season, in this state, through this leadership, knowing that from this state we can change the world. Blessed is the nation and the state whose God is the Lord. And we ask all this in your name. And everybody said, amen.